Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to uh, learn about how to install uh, so Borland C++ uh, version uh, 2. Point, sorry, version 5.02 uh, in my Windows uh, XP box. The reason I have chosen uh, the Windows XP box for this uh, installation is that uh, in my Windows 7 installation, so already I have installed uh, this piece of uh, software. So I don't want to uninstall that and again uh, reinstallation so all those things. So to avoid all those things I have chosen uh, the Windows XP box. The procedure of installation is same whether you use uh, Windows XP or Windows 7 or Windows 8.0 or 8.1 or whatever it might be with just a slight changes. Okay. So here, here is the installation uh, folder which we are going to install the Borland C++ 5.02 for uh, Windows, Windows. Okay. So this is a 32 bit uh, windows based uh, compiler okay so very very useful and uh, it makes our life easier while writing uh, programs for uh, c or c plus plus so you can happily uh, program uh, c in this because c plus plus is a superset for uh, c programming language so again you do not have another id for uh, c programming language so you can happily use uh, windows uh, this uh, borderland c plus uh, plus version okay so first double click that uh, installation folder here so as soon as you enter into this installation folder so you will find uh, many supporting uh, files here so immediately you have to search for this uh, uh, setup file here okay so setup file is going to be this one so if you keep on pressing s from the very beginning so it will lead you up to here or else you can scroll down and search for this uh, setup file with this all this graphic icon here so this is the one which is going to do the magic for you Okay, so just double click that and it will start installation, the process of installation. So keep on clicking the next button and as soon as we encounter uh, notepad just close it and keep on uh, clicking next and leave uh, the folders uh, which the installation uh, sets uh, by default. Okay, so here it's uh, all our installations is going to sit in this BC5 folder in, the, in our uh, C drive. Okay, so click next. Again, uh, I hope already here also it have been installed. Uh, so first, let me click ignore that one, and next uh, click keep on clicking next. Okay, next and install. Okay, so you need to wait for a few minutes or seconds, depending upon the capability of your uh, computer. Okay, power of your computer. So it takes a few couple of uh, seconds. Just uh, let me pause the video until that time. Okay, so now uh, the installation process has been completed and uh, just appears the final uh, dialog box here. So just keep on clicking next here. It shows all the uh, readme note and all those stuff here. Okay, so let's close it. And uh, the installation of your Borland C++ version 5.02 is also finished here. Okay, so keep clicking next and here you are done with it. And it asks for some registration kind of thing and keep it uh, just cancel it, you can do it another 14 days or so on and so forth. Okay, so as soon as you finish your installation, so your icon of your uh, uh, this piece of software uh, compiler ID sits here. Okay, in your start programs, if you go to start programs and if you go to Borland C 5.02, so here it is. Okay, so you can make it a desktop uh, shortcut or something like that directly so that you can uh, enter into the ID. Is a Windows based ID okay? So, you want to make uh, files, new file, it's already text editor has been opened already by default. Uh, so, if you want to uh, grab some code or write some code, you can keep on writing the code a simple C program. So, let me do that. So, hash include stdio.h. So, again, let's say okay, so I'm writing a C program here, okay? So, hash include conio.h. So if you are not happy with all this uh, uh, font stuff here, okay. So you can go to options, to environment, and editor, and you can choose the display. So you can choose whatever the font you like. Courier is good, and you can put uh, 15 size or something like that, 15, 15 or something like that, and you can click OK. Or else, if you're not again, if you're not happy, you can go to options and environment and you can go to uh, 
again you can go to another font here so display and uh, score your new is 25 okay so now we can keep on typing the code just wide main i'm just putting uh, nothing but a small piece of program So I'm just running a small program here. Okay, so printf slash and slash t hello world from Portland C++. Okay. So if you want to run the program as you have no control plus F9. So it will uh, without any if you error free, it would uh, run happily for you. Okay. So as soon as it's uh, having a small problem with my antivirus here. So if you want, you can keep a get CH statement so that the output would be waiting until you give any input from the keyboard. So let me do it once again, control F9. So here we are, okay. So this is the output window, just compiles and executes your code and just shows the output, which is nothing but just a, a printf statement with some message inside it. So if you want to make your output screen uh, a bit larger, so you can go uh, right click on the that command window and go to choose properties. And you can go to font option here. In the options you can go to font and you can say lucid consulus or rest lucid consulus or something like that and 36 or something like that and apply. So here we are, your output uh, will be more uh, wider now. So next for the next time when you run the program, so get the same output and if you want you can uh, uh, choose once again uh, so all those colors and so on and so forth. Okay. So here we are. So that's all about uh, the installation of a uh, Borland uh, C++ 5.02 on Windows machine. Okay, it's a very handy uh, tool to write C++ program. Okay, so if you got any code online, you can uh, easily grab that code. Okay, so that's what I am going to show you to you right now. So if you got any code online, you can easily uh, grab it. Okay, so for example, if you go to some uh, C++ programs or something like that uh, tutorial. Uh, kind of thing. Just a second. So if you got this nice code, uh, so it would be very uh, handy just to grab that code and uh, paste it here. And you can run uh, that code very easily. So just addition of two numbers or whatever it might be, code sample here. Okay. So this is a small piece of code here. So let me grab that. Okay. And here we should be uh, very alert because uh, this is not the most uh, latest compiler here. Okay, so I've just grabbed the code and pasted here in my uh, Borland C++. Okay, so if you want to save it, you can save it like this. So file save like a normal uh, IDE. So you can give some name like add dot cpp or something like that. Okay, so you need to make some small changes here. Okay, so uh, straight away all the internet. Uh, whatever the code you get on the internet is more standard and up to the latest uh, versions of the C++. Okay, so this is if you go observe this uh, about the software, it's built around 97. Okay, so 97 or something like that uh, because uh, so whatever the standards have been upgraded to the language after 97 were not applicable to this uh, uh, IDE. Okay, so for example, this namespaces concept here. Okay, so namespaces is not supported. Unfortunately, not supported by this version of the Borland C++. So here we have to remove that. Okay. So just for uh, learning purpose, very beginning uh, beginners, students, and all all those uh, persons who are not worried about some serious C++, so they can use write uh, code using this ID. So let me put a get ch here, or or can use uh, cm dot get also, just to make the output window wait until the. Uh, okay. So let me run the code. So here it's asking about the two numbers to add one and two. Let's output its queues as right here. Okay. So my antivirus is always having a problem with all those stuff. Here. Okay. So again, let me do it. So this is all about the handy uh, Windows based compiler, how to install, how to make a small programs using that, and so on and so forth. So hope you like the tutorial. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.